Me now is Ellen Zentner. She's chief U.S. economist at Morgan Stanley. Ellen, it's great to see you again. What's your base case expectation for any kind of tapering right now? So I think that definitely President Bostic is still in the minority uh, at the FOMC, uh, but definitely expressing more optimism, uh, especially as we've seen the efficacy uh, of the vaccine now, uh, even with some bobbles of it being rolled out on time here in the beginning of that process. And so I think at some point, certainly by the middle of this year, we would expect policymakers uh, to sort of coalesce around uh, firming up those discussions of when should they start tapering. Uh, and so we think that they'll start tapering in the beginning of 2022, which means signaling it at the December meeting. And certainly depending on how the vaccine plays out and how the economic activity rebounds on the other side of that, uh, can certainly shade that by a month or two in either direction. So to me, Bostick's comments were not that inconsistent with what uh, the market is currently expecting in terms of the timing of tapering. What struck me as very surprising was that uh, he said he wanted to get back to a pre-COVID balance sheet in short order. And it's the pace of that tapering hmm. that I think would be very surprising. I mean, it seems impossible that they'll ever be back to a pre-COVID balance sheet, Ellen, let alone in short order. And, and Loretta Mester of the Cleveland Fed did come out and say she's not expecting uh, a reduction in bond buying until next year. So you can see this this battle is already starting to play out. We are seeing interest rates slightly on the rise, you know, with the 10-year today, again, emphasize slightly up to about 96 basis points or so. What would happen if uh, markets started to sniff out that maybe the Fed's going to be under some pressure to turn the dial back more quickly? So I think for the for the Fed, the balance sheet is going to actually be very important in terms of anchoring those rate hike expectations. They have to not only begin tapering the balance sheet, but finish that process well before they begin raising rates. That's the order of operations that is, is currently uh, in the framework of, of the Fed. Uh, and so how long they want to take to taper the balance sheet, when they want to start to tapering the balance sheet, you know, that means that they can start to take their foot off the gas pedal, to use a favorite uh, phrase of, of uh, former Fed Chair Yellen's, take their foot off the gas pedal, but still control rates and rate expectations because the market's going to not be willing to price in rate hikes until they actually finish tapering. And so I think that separation between balance sheet operations and rate hikes is very important for the Fed to maintain. And I do feel like the market remembers the lesson learned from the taper tantrum, as does the Fed. And I do think that they can successfully separate the two. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.